What is up, Grass Grind family? We are back on the Grass Grind. Uh, today, we got a special guest today. Hmm, not Sarah today. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, we got somebody different. We got my daughter, Michaela. You gonna say hi? Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing today? Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you guys what we're doing today. So I told you we had the issue with the trimmer racks and the blower racks rusting. So we decided to put it together, okay? So I'm gonna pan through, okay? New racks. <laughs> <laughs> so we got new racks here and I'm gonna kinda back up so hopefully you guys will see everything. So she actually helped me put everything together today, which was awesome. <laughs> She's not paying attention to me. So, the first one right here, as I showed you, is the... Oh, I'm going to let you introduce it. What is this right here? The Still BI no, 700. No, 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 get in there, get in there so they can see you. This is a blower, uh -huh. still BR 700. Yes. And wait, am I showing them how to unlock it? Yes, you can show them how to lock it and unlock it. Let me zoom in so they can see. So you want to unlock it by just lifting up this latch here and taking it off. Uh huh. And then that goes down there. Okay. And then you have a key over here that okay, way you can lock. Let me lock. pan over this way. That way you can lock this in. So this actually has a key. Hmm, pretty good. Okay, so how do you lock it back up? It's just very easy. You just take it back in, and then, and then you lock it. Okay, awesome, awesome. One thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that right here, I was explaining how uh, the BR700 has a smaller tube, and we had to adjust this part right here. That way it wouldn't crimp, okay? So... I'm going to have have her help me talk about the trimmer racks, okay? So what do you like about the trimmer racks? Me? Yes, you! <laughs> she said she's going to help me all season <laughs> as soon as she get out of school. That's so awesome, right? <laughs> all right, so the trimmer racks, okay? Um, we were having an issue with it uh, rusting up and um, this one has a different coating on there. Like if you see right here, like right up in there, it has a different plating on there, which is awesome, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how to lock it, unlock it, then I'm gonna have her show you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, oh, wrong way, okay, this way? No, yeah, okay. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna take that latch down and you want to turn this up here sorry about that and then this just pops right on up or did i lock it uh, i think i locked it let's see maybe it's this way yes yeah, that way okay so that's unlock and this is lock unlock lock okay unlock yeah okay <laughs> all right so you just press your finger in here and this should come out okay or is it the opposite way? Man, I'm getting old. Okay, is it this way? Yeah, there we go. Okay. You just take it out just like that. So, I'm going to quiz Michaela and see if she knows the trimmer racks. Oh the trimmers. The string trimmers, okay? All right, you ready? All right, so the top one is an edger. And what model is that one right there? The Steel FC 90. Mm, close. Um, really close. Six. 96. There you go. <laughs> there you go. See, she's doing good. Okay, so the next one is a steel trimmer. Okay. Which one do you think that is? This one's the Steel 91. Yes. Very good. Okay. And then the last one is... An echo. echo. Uh huh. No cheating. Um, <laughs> I don't know the numbers. I'll give you that one. It's a 3020T. Okay. 
But what we like about this one, um, I did not like, it has the same mounting area right here, which I, I don't like. I like it to be mounted here because you lose space in the trailer, okay? So that's one thing I did not like. But overall, I think it came out great. So we're gonna come here to this blower. Our okay. last blower rack. Uh-huh. And which one is this one here? It's an echo, <laughs> but the numbers are here. <laughs> okay, the numbers are here, so I'm gonna zoom in, okay? So we got a PB8010T, okay? So this actually works pretty good. It has the lock and unlock feature. Got that, real simple. Put it down, locks it up, and it protects it, okay? So what do you i'm going to quiz you not quiz you i'm going to interview you so what do you like about the racks what do you not like about the racks do you like the color don't like the color well, would you change anything for me mm -hmm. um they were pretty easy to assemble okay to the drilling the holes in. yeah yeah the drilling was a little different but um they go good with our color mm -hmm. and they're really easy to open and close. Yeah. You had some problems with that one. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. I mean, overall it wasn't too bad. So uh, we got it all done. We wasn't out here too long. How long do you think we were out here? 10 minutes. No, was, <laughs> she might've been out here 10 minutes. I was out here a little bit longer, but no, she helped me. We drilled it in. Um, I apologize. I don't have the dimensions for the drill bit, but I mean, it was super simple. Um, I'm gonna let you hold the camera so I can take this out and show them where we actually drill the holes at. Yeah, so it's really simple. Pull that. And if I could get this off of here, just pull it right here. And this is where we drilled the holes, okay? And what I wanted to do is drill on this last hole here will mount it with these last holes here. That way, if you look back here, that way is pretty much flush, okay? Because we got a big 61 inch and I don't know, I don't want it to hang out here where, you know, it's taking up trailer space. So, um, very easy to put back on. Put this back on here. Just put it on here. And you go to here, okay? If I could get this shoulder strap out the way, just like that, okay? Uh, one thing that I did do, or we did do, is I tried to spray paint some of these bolts right here, and I'm gonna go back over it with like some tractor paint. Hopefully, it we won't have that rust issue that we had before. And we did it on this one right here too. So super simple, super simple. What'd you think about it? What did you think about it? Oh, it wasn't too bad. All right, you know, it's coming together. It's about to be springtime. We're about to be out there working. Um, we're about to get busy. Actually, we got an estimate today. So, um, you know, it's coming around. The weather's feeling good. We want to get out here and start mowing and, you know, kind of go from there. So, you want to show them the, let's show them the old racks. We're going to show you guys the old racks just in case you didn't see the other video. Okay. I appreciate all your help. You gonna mow with us all season? She said, yeah, that is awesome. Okay, so just a review. We had a couple of issues with rust right here. And the racks weren't too, the blow, old blower rack wasn't too bad. It was more of the locking mechanism. Oh shoot. It was more of the locking mechanism. If you can see that. That's why we got rid of. Now the trimmer racks was a whole different story, okay? So if you look in here, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to zoom in as much as possible. Yeah. So we got rust issue, rust issue, rust issue. Okay. So that's pretty much it, but overall wasn't too bad. Uh, Michaela says she's about to cook up some steak and french fries and yeah <laughs> <laughs> so overall really good day um just wanted to kind of get out here show you guys again get out here 
get these trimmer racks on, get prepared. I gotta clean out the garage because it's a mess. So, today was a good day. Yep. All right, so this is Chris and Michaela <laughs> on the grass grind. Uh, we appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And as always, invest in yourself. Okay, one thing you gotta do before you go, okay? You gotta be like, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all probably, what is today? Sunday. I'll probably see you guys Tuesday, okay? Thanks for watching. All right. All right, so one quick thing that I wanted to show you guys is that um, the mounting pieces or the mounting brackets um, from the, I guess you would consider it the first gen to the second gen are different, okay? Uh, I was trying to just put the old ones on or keep the old ones on and they didn't fit. So I'm going to show you guys this real quick. Let me see if I can sort this. Okay. So if you see here, let me see which one is the old one. Okay. This is the old one here and this is the new one. If you look, they look pretty much similar, but it looks like this groove right here is a little bit smaller. Okay. So that's definitely a difference. So I had to change all of them out to the new ones. And then here, I don't know if I can set them up like that. Okay, so this is the old one, of course, because we got all the grass and stuff on it. And this is the newer one, which is wider, which um, I think that's a good improvement uh, just for, I guess, stability. And it seems like it's, yeah, it seems like it's angled a little bit at the top and this one I think is flat yeah this one is flat okay so just keep that in mind if you have the old one and you're going to the new uh, trimmer racks and they're both equipment defender just keep that in mind those are different okay and then one thing you might wonder why my keys got all these different colors and everything on there well Sarah came up with the idea to color code them that way when we're picking up keys See this key and this key and that key all looks the same, okay? So she decided to color code them. And that way, when you're out there and you're trying to unlock the trimmer rack, you got the T for trimmer rack, you got the S for, of course, the steel, and you got the E for echo, okay? Um, the blue key is, oh, that's for the uh, toolbox, the cobalt toolbox. The green is for the um, the Bobcat. And of course, Skag, you can see that written on there. And it's opposite on the other set of keys. That way, you're not fumbling around. You kind of get used to the color code system. And a lot of times I had to try two or three times to try to get unlocked. And that, you know, of course, wastes time. So pretty cool. That might be something that uh, you guys or ladies might want to try out. We're going to try it out this season and see how it goes and kind of go from there. So I'm about to put some clothes on. I got an estimate I have to do. So we'll be back. All right, Grass Grind family, we are back. Uh, just finished the estimate. And the great thing is uh, we will be doing that property. And it's about uh, two yards of mulch and uh, taking out a couple of shrubs. So uh, nothing major, but it's just awesome that um, we are starting to get more clients. On Ohio 73 and West, you gotta excuse the GPS, but um, you know, we're starting to get more clients and it's starting to, um, you know, it's starting to get time to get to work. You know, um, just very thankful. You know, I sat back today and you know, I was putting together the racks and you know, looking at the mowers and the trimmers and you know, that's one thing that I want you guys to do is definitely be grateful for what you have, okay? Um, don't feel that you have to, you know, get the biggest and baddest, whatever it may be, just because somebody else has it. You know, do what works for you. Uh, do what you can get, do what you can afford, you know, and be thankful, you know, um, and be proud of your business. Not everybody can own a lawn care business or any business at that. Um, it definitely takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, 
and this is not something that you can just do overnight and expect to make you know sixty thousand dollars you know your first year so you know that's just one of the things you know i was really looking at it and um you know i'm just very thankful um and another thing is be thankful for your customers too um treat your customers good you know if you give them good prices um and make sure that you know you take care of them you talk to them good and you show up that's one thing is just showing up as long as you show up on time and show up at the time that you said you were going to show up you know nine times out of ten you're going to have that business uh that's just like today uh we generally today is sunday we generally do not work on sunday uh but for the client that's what worked for his schedule and you know i wanted to make sure that you know i was flexible enough to uh, meet on his schedule because he's very busy but you know that's just one thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about real quick is be thankful for everything you have whether you know it's your family whether it's the tools the equipment that you have um and you know be thankful for your customers because you got to remember without customers you do not have a business okay all right so i'm going to focus on the road uh, this is Chris on the grass grind. Uh, I know it sounded like I was going to stop the video a little bit earlier when we were doing the trimmer racks, but this was something that just came about and um, I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, like I said, I appreciate everybody that watches us and uh, invest in yourself and keep grinding, okay? Now, you know I can't stop it without a... out this time for